Yo, yo, yo! Ah! Hello, everybody. I'm Rudel. Welcome back to the Age of the Ring cast. I know next to nothing about the game we're about to see. All I know is that it's on Halifurian, and this map is fucking goated. It is so goated that a Welsh person is probably attracted to it. Anyway, in the top right, we have got a doggle door. It is Nugget. Nug E T. That's like that's like the world's worst rap name, Nuggy T. Hey yo, <laughs> and next up we got Nuggy T. Hey yo, what up, Holmes? Yeah, um, he's playing Doggle Dog. Good luck with that. His teammate is Excelsior guy. What hero will he rush out today? Well, he's actually made a building, so Rip Worm Tongue Rush enjoys. And opposite them is a mortal. It's Heracles, which is a uh, King Kong, and I'm pretty sure he changed his name, so I wouldn't do that annoying rhyme. I haven't proven that, but that's just what I suspect. <laughs> Probably not. And to finish it all off, what the hell kind of name is that? Pingo. <laughs> okay, Xi Jinpingo. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I want this guy to win, I'll be honest. <laughs> what kind of fucking stupid... Okay, who is this guy? I know it's someone I know. I just... I, I just... It's such a bad name, it could be Pumba, but I actually don't know. Pingo. I don't think Pumba's allowed in Excelsior lobbies. I'm pretty sure he's not. He's like, what the hell is that fucking Belgian doing in my lobby? Get out of here. But yeah, he's Rivendell. Um, with a Bree Lad to start. Um, building slightly more aggressive. Because he's uh, mil uh, milding. Building an extra Bree Land encampment. Usually people go for the Dunedain gathering after the first building. And we got the two balls. And unless this stone is going to be the cock, then I feel sorry for your goddamn wife, kid. Alright, Wildman, come out. Uh, we're playing on high shaders. I hope that doesn't like the fucking game. When the terrain abilities and all that come out, but... We should be fine. Anyway, creeping the enemy, Warglair. I thought that builder was Mouth of Sauron. I was like, wait, what the fuck? That looked like the most imposing Mouth of Sauron ever, and then it's, yeah, just a builder. Anyway, rather slow from Mordor. And that works really well for Excelsior. We've got a ping here. He wants to creep that, I guess. Oh, he's just pinging with the laser. Okay, this guy hasn't got a fucking Scooby. He has not got a clue. Alright, Broken Rabble going in. They will probably deteriorate before they get there. The joys of playing DG in a nutshell. And we'll put it on Isengard Cam. There we go. Alright. We've got two cocks and one ball each, so... I mean, I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere, but... Heracles is going to try and... Well, he's not going to get that forge. I don't know where he's going. Those wild men are just going to destroy him pretty quickly. Well, the harassment has not been the best so far. It is a bit of a difficult thing on this map because it is so big. Like, sometimes you'd think that would work, but it's big but also narrow at the same time. It's very weird. Halifurin isn't really known for um, its harass. It's known mainly for the uh, epic battles in the middle. But maybe these Broken Rabble can change our mind because they are hitting the Orchard. But as I said, they're deteriorating very quickly. They've just watched Rings of Power and they've lost all will to live. Yeah, they, they certainly actually sound like it. I was, I was making a joke, but it totally sounds like it. Alright, we've got Wildman coming up. They're going to try and double team the top guy. I'm not sure if that was their plan, but... That's the way it's come in. He's even popping a war chant here. A lot of orcs there. I'm not sure that these guys... I know they're level 2 and they got the war chant, but... They were wounded before they got there, so... That might have been a waste of a war chant. They're not even going to get the orchard. He did get some resources because he was level 2, though. But yeah, very minimal gains. If any gains, actually. I was being nice when I said minimal. Alright, what do we got here? Early Uruk Pit? Ayo? Before the hero? Alright, well, at least there is one hero, and that's Thrain. No one's kept the mid. What kind of freaky game is this? Broken rabble that die before they get there. One guy doesn't know where the war glares are, and then the other, and, and then no one rushes the middle. We've got a very strange game. Maybe this is why I wasn't told anything about it. This could be a giant waste of time. Who the hell knows? Wait, he's yanking him out of that pit. Does he just toss him down the ladder? What does he do here? Oh, he kicks him down a slide. Really? <laughs> okay. Okay, we got fighting in the top. Tango to hide. Turkish archers, and yeah, that's 
I think he can actually push here. Uh, the Xi Jinpingo. I think he can actually push here. He's got more than enough troops here. And I think... Hold on, we got actually... Hold on, we have a hero for Excelsior. It's... Oh, fucking course. He's gone with Lurts. Is he gonna try and cripple strike the Nazgul? Why, why Lurts for the starter hero? I mean, I know Lurts gives uh, leadership. And it's a lot more exciting than Wolfgo. I, I imagine Uruk Scouts are coming in now if he's got Lurts. Because Lurts has the leadership. Cripple strike is sort of like the afterthought. Anyway, Furnus goes down. Excelsior wasn't able to protect that. Leveling up off these orcs, not taking that much damage, which is good. But he needs to get more wildmen into the fight. Alright, now the Uruk scouts come in. Very nicely done. Okay, now they're pushing up. We've got level 3 Breelanders up here. We've got Turkish archers um, sniping from the tree line. These Breelanders don't have a hope in hell in getting anything done here. And now the cock comes out, the giant spire of sorcery, which means... Uh, I think he could stay a little bit. Maybe get this mill here. But finally, some attacking. A lot of orcs came in, they got one furnace, and then they sort of just stopped dead. So I think that might actually be a lot of power points. What is he at? He was at six. I think he's very much ahead of everyone else. And Nugget playing very passively. He can get Risen dead now, so he can start pumping out these orcs, fighting to the last man, and then just um, uh, turning them into Risen dead. It might not go too well from him if this guy will get Outriders out. He's still making Dunedain. He has one on the field making another one now. And Excelsior is going to counterattack now. We've got one mountain troll. That's really cool to see. I don't think we've got a Mordor hero out. I thought that was uh, Gorbag for a second, but it was just one lonesome orc. Trapping him with the Wraiths of Mordor. The Wildman should actually deal with them pretty quickly. There goes the Warchant to offset any debuff. And is Lurt's not going to snipe the troll? He's going to pull back a bit. Yeah, he is outnumbered. And as strong as the scouts are, it might be one too many orcs for him. Alright, well, he's got three scouts now. That could that actually could do it. Scouts are very strong. Remember, they got the leadership as well. There's a ping middle, but I kind of want to see what happens here. The troll keeps throwing in his boulders, killing more of his own troops than the enemy. Unfortunate. And I think that's level three for... Oh, no, that was the scouts leveling up. Yeah, look at him just get mowed down. Look, he's at nine points. He's almost got his tier two now. And you know... I mean, when push comes to shove, if someone wants to win, they just go Tainted Land. Because it is, like, one of the best, if not the best, tier two in the game. Um, it would be cool that he goes Devastation and then just gets, like, an Oogluk out every time he does that. Um, but he'll probably go Tainted Land, knowing Excelsior. Alright, that was a pink metal. Rivendell capped that. Lots of Dunedine, lots of Tukish Archers. Is that Heroic Statue? No, it's a well. And the Risen Dead aren't actually that scary, because he's got the plenty of Dunedine Archers. He'd have to... He'd have to get something meat here. He does have Harbingers. Alright, now the Tier 2 comes in. Now he can really counterattack. Mordor really hasn't got a lot done. King Kong getting sort of touched here. Cripple Strike is out. And there goes Tainted Land. Now just watch the plus twos. There they are. Plus two, plus two. Like, what? Why would you... I mean, I'm sure they're going to fix that. But it is so strange that they gave it Scavenger as well. Like, Devastation. Everyone used to pick Devastation because obviously it gave you, like, over a thousand resources. But it also stunned. And then they removed the stun. And then they they gave Sca the Tainted Land the Scavenger. Like, it's really weird. Alright, there goes the Tangedo Hide. He's not fighting on Tainted Land, but these guys are on Tainted Land. So they are still getting the buff. Cracks of Doom here. I would have done it slightly further back so he takes more damage when he's retreating. But that was actually well played. He might actually lose. The Uruk Scouts would be fine. But the Wildman did get cooked. So it looks like meat's back on the uh, menu, boys. For these Orcs. Alright, Doom Pies are out. It's not over for Heracles yet. Does he have Lumber Mills? He's got one. He's got two. He'll probably make a third one soon. Now Lurtz is going in melee. This might be a bad idea because Lurtz doesn't get cleave on his carnage. He can probably one-shot that troll. And I think that's what he was going for. The troll is actually running away. Well played. But he doesn't get cleave here. This could be a misplay by Excelsior. The great Excelsior making it a mistake. He's glo- he's- That is not- Yeah, that is not, uh, Goku's Kaioken. He doesn't even cleave. And that's Alert's feed, and that was- That was managing the Tainted Land really well done. I mean, that was well played by, uh, Heracles, but- Is it Hercules or Heracles? Because I'm saying Heracles. Heracles, okay. Um, but yeah, it's well played by him, but also a bit of a misplay by, uh, what's his face? Excelsior. Alright, now Wolfgar comes in. Now he's gonna- 
Now he's going to use what works. He's going to forget the leadership on the scouts and he's going to leadership with the wildmen. I think he could send in the orcs in just as meat shields while the trolls um, take down these uh, wildmen huts. Now, I'm not sure what happened to Rivendell during all that, but there used to be a well and a forge here. And a shit ton of Brelanders. And now there's level 4 Harbingers. Soon to be level 5. Yikes. I said he needed something uh, tankier to sort of tank through that. And yeah, it seems the Harbingers did the job. Which is strange, because he had a lot of Dunedain. There goes Risen Dead. Aragorn, you need to be careful. You need to be careful with that. Oh, okay, this guy might actually be Pumba. That was embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know who this is. I, I I could not tell you, but it's very, very concerning that he lost all those units. And now Deep Rot's coming in. You can take out or hide all you want, but that's not looking good. Okay, in the bottom. Um, Wolfgar, level two. Mouth of Sauron now. And double trolls, they're in range. Remember, the clan steading is what Wolfgar is going to get. It, it makes the troops that Wolfgar will give leadership to. So taking them out is um, a bit of a bonus for him. Is he making... Okay, I figured it was. But yeah, Mouth the Sauron. Just sponge. Just just soak up the XP from those archers, man. Just do it. Alright, Wolfgar. The Horde bonus proc there. I don't know how, but look at that damage. Oh, this is... He's on the run. Wait, I think he didn't mean him to go back in. The orcs are getting the clumping damage. And wow, testament to how shit those orcs are. They should have killed him there. Any other unit would have killed him there. The Alright, pumping out. Uh, Uryx as quickly as he can. Busting those nuts. Hey, I don't know how Uryx are made. What the fuck? It's just the way it goes. Okay, he can do the counterattack because when Tainted Land comes back. And Tainted Land will come back very quickly. And there's both the huts down. Alright. So he seemed to have spent his money on Mouth of Sauron, but he's probably got more on the way since he went with Doom Pyres. This Rivendell player, for lack of a better word, is um, dumb. He does have reverence of Havana, because he wants to go to Cuba. It's really nice in the summer. JK, it's a shithole every year. Um, okay, it's Tainted Land. Plus one, plus one, plus one. It's been a discount now. What the hell? Only plus one? Dude, inflation is even hitting Tainted Land. Okay, there's plus three. Okay. And here's Nazgul. Oh, it's Kamul, actually. Sorry. It's um, from Nuge, Nuggy T. And watch this trample, boys. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, they're fighting back. Oh, God. Uprising. Kill him. Screech. How'd you fuck up a Kamul trample? What was that? They like, killed like two guys. He's like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm actually done. All right. Four, tr three trolls. Siege. I feel like you need something meatier, man, because the Dunlending Longhouse is out. I don't think he necessarily knows that, but he should probably assume it's out. But yeah, you want to get some black orcs in here to combo with catapult, then that'd be a good idea. Okay, here we go. Battle in the top. We saw Aragorn die. We saw Harbingers wreck the shit. Here comes Hysteria, which is going to do precisely nothing. There is the stun, at least. And these Harbingers are just having an amazing time. So many archers. I wonder how they would fare against Harbingers with their swords out. Probably die just as quick. Oh god, now here comes Kamul. If Inspire Fear gets off, then these guys are just going to run back into those Harbingers. There it is. And this guy needs a better weapon. Oh god, there's a Castellan. One of the best units for Dog of Lord. They're actually really cool. Yeet. There we go. You know Castellans are cool because they say they use the same animations as Ring Hero Sauron from Vanilla. Okay, Sa um, what's his face? Is back. Did he go Lay of Lathian? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He is going Lay of Lathian, so that's Grey Company and potentially Andril out. Alright, here we go. Dunlending, Axeman. Beautiful. Now watch this. Watch this just destroy. I don't care if Mouth of Sauron's in there. I don't care if he's got Drum Patrol. Watch these guys destroy. Because they got Wolfgar in there. Go. Uh. Lots of archers raining death. Could Redevil be wrong? Those trolls are knocking them back in the back line. There goes the deep up for Mouth of Sauron. Oh, I think Redevil might be wrong here. Alright, tier 2 now. Slaves of Nern. No! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Go back, is it there? Yes! Oh! A cripple shot. Oh, go back, there he is. There's your target. I don't care about the cat tremble. Go, go, go back. Come on, he's right there. Carnage versus go back. Let's go. Come on. Those axemen, they just were getting fucked. They should have run on the tainted land, but there were bodies in the way. Lurts, where are you going? He's going to try and finish off the Sauron. No! Go back, drop kick. Oh, the archer steal is glory. And Nazgul came in, tried to help. 
he might actually get fucked here. They're gonna get stuck in those orcs if he tries it again. Yes, if he had tried that again, he would have got stuck and he would have died. The travel order ended, he would have got fucked. But yeah, those axe, uh, we we know how good these are. We know how good they are. They are so strong. Um, I'm not sure if Wolfgar was in there, he might have actually died. But with the drum troll buff and just the sheer multitude of orc archers. I mean, he's, he's going to have to make everything in here. He's going to make at least one outrider because there's so many archers that are just having basically a free time at the moment. They are just being chilling on someone else's couch right now. They are having such an easy time. And this Rivendell is getting away with murder, by the way, because he got fucked and he should be getting pushed hard. But he's allowed to get two upgrades from his library. I would love for him to get Andrew, by the way. I don't know if he's made another forge. Hold on. Well, when he, whenever he does, then... Uh, He's actually going to start destroying everything. Alright, Kamal. Only a level 2 yet. Hasn't got his leadership. He's almost there. Watch these Constellans go through. Halberad is there, so let's buff in those uh, Dunedain. Ravagers won't get that much done. There goes the heal. He was panicking for some reason. And he's just, look at them. They just they got no answer to him. These Dunedain really do such little damage. He's going to need something. He's going to need like a better front line or some upgrades for his archers. Because these Castellans are just going to tank these Dunedain Archers for days. Literally days. And there goes Tainted Land. And... Kamul does die, and he retreats all of his units, so... I've seen better uses of Tainted Land. He's probably kind of miffed that he wasted that. It does last a while. And I guess he has one here, but this might actually vanish soon. Alright, 20... What the... What, what, what the... Holy shit, you're farming this kid! You're not pushing him because you're farming this kid. He's got darkness. Oh, yes. Okay. In 2v2s. In 2v2s. Not everyone goes weather spells. But weather spells can be the fucking clutch. Okay. Rude Devil Pro Tip. They can be the fucking clutch. So right now, Big Nuggy T from... I think he's Portuguese, but I don't fucking know. We'll just say he's Portuguese. He's from there now. All right. He's going to be typing in team chat, which is backspace. He's like, hey, yo. Um, Excelsior guy, I've got darkness. When you go in, you just tell me, and we will darkness the shit out of these guys. And they're gonna think they're gonna win this battle. And then they're gonna hit with a global fucking buff for the enemy. And, yeah, darkness is just gonna carry them through. Particularly for Dorgledore that have really tanky, like, high tier units. The darkness just carries them through. But because it's global, it benefits your teammate as well. And it just compounds everything that way. That being said, this motherfucker said, Rude Devil, you're a fucking idiot. I've got Witch King, so we'll see. He might need to do Darkness now. Because that's a Witch King. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Witch King is Darkness proof. Oh god. He's doing the Surfing Bird. Oh god, he just leveled up already. There goes Cripple Shot. Huskulls? Ooh, Huskulls with more how Grip. He's only level 1. He's at his... Technically, Witch King is at his weakness. Ooh, weakest at level 1. He doesn't have uh, Nazgul to buff his armor either. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Darkness, darkness, darkness. There it is. Don't, don't, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Don't. I think it inspired. Did the drummer troll just save Witch King with Inspire Fear? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my. I'm done. I'm looking up here now. Okay, let's have a look. We got, um, Noldor. Oh, he's, he's actually gone with the twins. Alright, Necromancer is here. Mount the sounds on his armor buff. Dude, Witch King was saved by the Drama Troll Fear. He would have had him otherwise. And then Wolfgar goes and dies. Oh my goodness. Anyway, Fortress is in catapult range. It's not looking good. He's halfway to get some Necromancer. Necromancer goes down. Dude, without these Harbingers, this Nuggy T guy would be in some serious trouble. Alright, Halberite did die. They are dangerously clumped there. Oh my. <gasps> Dude, why are you clumping? Why are you doing that? By the way, what was that? Was that like deep rot? Did that do like an AOE effect or something? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Or was it this? Oh, oh. Well, you know what? Whatever it was, it got a lot of kills. He's almost... It got him 10 points, by the way. He was at like... He was at like 13, I swear. Okay, here we go. Dunlending Outriders, finally. Witch King rather sensibly. He actually counts his cavalry really well when he's in the air. There it is. Alright, now, gift time. Gift time. The front line is crumbling. His uh, his barracks is going down. These, th these harbingers just not taking range damage at all. 
I swear if I used Harbingers against Dunodyne, Dunodyne would mow me the fuck down. He's at 28 points. And I think... Yeah, I think the uh, Orc Archers all died from the Outriders. If he had that at the beginning, that fight would have gone a lot better. And I'm not going to say anything about this. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Anyway, um... Yeah, this guy's got Gift of the Necromancer. I think we do a Spellbook update. He's gone with Twins. Not got many more points after that. He does have Freezing Rain. So they both went in weather. Um, what's the other tier 3? It's Fuel the Fires, isn't it? Fuel the Fires and then uh, bring me an army worthy of cringe. Yeah, eh, Freezing Rain's still better. And then this guy's almost at tier 3. He can go with his own darkness, which since you know the enemy has darkness, he's probably going to go with it. Um, but he might want to get Shelob as well. I don't know. Shelob is good. But I feel like he's already got Golbag out for a hero kill, so... If you, if you... I mean, you sort of have to go weather if you know your enemy's got weather, so... Well, what the fuck did I just say? What the hell, man? You know what? You, okay, you're gonna lose now. You're literally gonna lose. They've both got weather effects. Okay. I'm gonna keep it on this, because I want to know the second that gift goes off. Unless he, unless he wants to be weird. Unless Nugget is a weird boy and he wants to go... Um... Bane of the Greenwood. Alright, they know he's mid because obviously Signal Fire gave him vision. His fortress? You know what? There is probably a way he could snipe this. Hmm. You know what? Five hitting it, he probably should have gone for Shelob. Then Witch King on, on Fell Beast to hit the fortress. Shelob hitting the fortress. That could probably do it, actually. I think you'd lose Witch King, though, so maybe it's not worth it. Alright, Necromancer has returned. He got very little done. More than this Rivendell did, though. Rivendell lost basically everything. And these guys are all leveled up now. They've got buffs out the ass. They do have Swan Feathered Arrows now. Maybe that will finally do some damage. One Tomb Guard does go down. Ah, he does have Glorfindel. But Glorfindel level 1 against upgraded, uh, leveled up Harbingers. Alright, there you go. Rip, ripping a leadership. And there's literally no counter for it. Cavalry in the back. Tomb Guard are just going to say, Lamau, get fucked. And his gift. Where is he going to drop his gift? Those are just orcs. Is he going to try and bait them both in? Oh my god, Nugget. Nugget, yes. Retreat. They're colliding. Worlds are colliding here. No, stay out of the way, Isengard. Now, now, now! Right. Ooh, you want to get the heroes, actually. And the heroes ran away. Oh, there it is! This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. There it is! Dead fucked! <laughs> Mouth of Sauron's like, fuck this shit! Yeah, it does much less damage to heroes now. That's the balance of it. But what makes Gift of the Necromancer the best tier 4 in the game is that, much like vanilla Army of the Dead, it gives you power points. He got 13. I don't know how much he had before he used Gift of the Necromancer. I think he had 3, so he got 10. That's fucking good. An army wipe plus 10 power points? I mean, that, that, that for me makes it the best. It doesn't hit buildings, sure. But you can buy other abilities to hit buildings with the power points you get from Gift. Alright, great company are here, and they're... Being asked to salvage a desperate situation here. Kamal is gonna get completely fucked. And I think Rivendell's base is basically going to go down any second now. Alright, Witch King is crippled. Morgul Blade has crippled him. And he's taken a massive chunk out of Lurse's health there. What the fuck? Okay. They're on Tainted Land though. Witch King does go down. And Saruman is here. Because what the hell. And yeah, that's, that's the end of his heroes. He could draw it out because he does have Morgul Sorcery. Nice little fireball there. And 18 points now. The Fortress is actually going to be saved. I think Necromancer did go down again.
But yeah, I would say that's yeah. Okay, he calls GG. He knows it's over. He just lost all of his heroes. There's upgrades here. He's a, he's ahead in powers. He's got Saruman out. Yeah, but did you see the damage Witch King did to Lurtz there? I mean, obviously, Witch King was going to lose. He was surrounded by Huskulls. But yeah, that was a shoot, and that was game over. That is GG. That is, um... That was some questionable Rivendell play. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but... Um... Yeah. It was a bit... I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, get some Necromancer. Best tier 4. You heard it here first. Actually, you probably already know that anyway. Anyway, be sure to like and subscribe, so you'll next time. Peace out. <gasps> Goodbye.